What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host for today, and as you can see, we have the benchmark lineup here. We're going to pour these up. We're going to talk about them price proof and everything in between, and of course, we're going to rank them from one to five to see which one's our favorite. Let's do this. So obviously, I don't want all of the bottles on the table while we do this. I don't have that much room. We are using our Great Whiskey Challenge tasting kit, although we are not doing this blind, so we're just doing the glasses. The main reason I didn't want to do this blind is because I didn't want to misinterpret any of the proofs, right? I didn't want to think the bonded 100 proof was actually the 125 proof, because then it doesn't sip too well, or maybe the 125 proof sips more like the bonded, and I think it's the bonded. So we're going to do this the right way. We're going to make sure we know which one's which, and we're starting with our small batch here at 90 proof, but everybody knows before we get started. Time for the traditional sip. Cheers, y'all. You know, I thought it'd be worse. So this is Benchmark Small Batch. The Benchmark lineup is obviously coming out of Buffalo Trace. This is their mash bill number one, which is their low rye mash bill, apparently less than 10%, although I can't confirm nor deny that. I will say this though, this goes along with the likes of Stag Jr., George T. Stag, I guess we're calling it Stag these days, which is another thing that I wanna talk about it. Is it Stag Jr. these days? If you find a Stag and it's the regular Stag, are you saying it's Stag? If you're drinking Stag, obviously you're not gonna call it Stag Jr., but aren't you also drinking George T. Stag? Are they both called Stag? Let me know in the comments section below but for this one the small batch I definitely thought it would be a lot worse off the first sip let's try it out and see what we think I still to this day for some reason get a little bit of a band-aid taste with anything I get from Buffalo Trace and that's coming out in this as well but the rest is just I mean it's bourbon I guess it tastes like whiskey you get a little vanilla a little caramel no real oak on this for 90 proof though, I will say it drinks pretty hot. It's nothing exceptional, but for $25, you don't expect anything exceptional. But I am interested to see how these start to compare as we go. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of each and then we'll start to move things around and talk about it a little bit more. As of right now though, this bad boy, first place. Up next, I reached down and we grabbed the bonded. This is obviously 100 proof and it's obviously four years old because if it's bonded, it has to be at least four years old. The question is how old is the rest of this stuff? And I can't imagine it's that old. I would guess in that three to five year range, again, the bonded probably being one of the older expressions out of the benchmark lineup, 100 proof, let's try it out. That's different. You can see as I pull these bottles up, I haven't had a lot of them. I got these from a friend on Discord, that Muffin Man, I appreciate you for grabbing these for me. But at the end of the day, I thought they were gonna be so similar that I wasn't even gonna be able to tell them apart, minus the proof. But right now, between these two, completely different when it comes to the flavor profile. I shouldn't say completely different on the flavor profile. What I mean to say is much more accentuated. I get a lot more of those flavors. Still those vanillas, those caramels, a little bit of oak on this that I was completely missing on the small batch over here. This is absolutely delicious. And again, this one's $16 while this one's $25 and they don't even really compare. This is definitely the winner as of right now. And then when you bring proof into the equation, right? This is the 100 proof bottle. This is the 90 proof bottle, but they almost drink opposite of that. This drinks more like a 90 proof, especially compared to this, which drinks more in that 100 proof range. You're talking price is better when it comes to this bottle, drinkability is better when it comes to this bottle, and flavors are better when it comes to this bottle. You know what we got to do. This is our new number one as of right now. But we do have three more to go. Let's see what's going to be next. I'm just reaching at this point. We have top floor. I'm excited about this one for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's the lowest proof at 86 proof. This is gonna run you about 20 bucks. Don't take me for my word on all of these prices. I'm sure they're either a little bit more expensive or a little bit less expensive by you, but this is top floor and that's exactly what it means. These are supposed to be the barrels off the top floor and everybody knows when heat rises, hits that wood, it expands, it gives it more of a flavor profile. Let's try this out and see what we think. This again is just a lot different than what I was expecting. These two right here, a lot of spice on these, while this one right here, straight up vanilla. You're talking 86 proof in our Discord, link in the description below, come chat with us on Discord. We talk about a word called crushable. This glass right here is crushable and it's dangerous because for 86 proof, it's not like it's an 80 proof, but at the end of the day, I could drink this all night. I will say this, there's only one flavor when it comes to this particular glass and it's that vanilla that I was talking about. There's no spice on this, there's no ethanol on this, there's really nothing else other than vanilla. Maybe a hint of caramel, I don't even get a lot of oak, but a little bit of dryness on the end there and I don't truly love dryness when it comes to my whiskeys. Again, I'm thinking in that three year range for this, as of right now, I do think it's better than the small batch, but there's no way it's better than the bonded.
Again, the flavor that was there was delicious, but it was only one flavor. Let's get our next bottle up here and it's going to be, where are they at? Foolproof. This is the one that I've tried the most of so far. Now there are a lot of people out there that tell you if you can't find Stag Jr. and you want something very similar to try this foolproof by Benchmark. I don't know if I agree with that. I've tried it a couple of times. They're definitely hot, so I guess that counts. But at the end of the day, there's no way the flavor profile behind this is as good as Stag Jr. or I guess, again, Stag these days. But let's try it out. Still hot. This bottle right here comes in 125 proof. It's $25. And again, when you're talking $25 for a bottle of whiskey, it's not that bad, especially these days. So if you have an opportunity to buy every single one of these, I mean, you're dropping 125 bucks at most. And even then you're probably getting ripped off. So the full proof coming in at $25, 125 proof. It's probably the best bang for your buck, but how does it taste? Right off the bat, I'll tell you, there is heat behind this. If you're looking for something that has no ethanol kick, but still 125 proof, you're looking in the wrong place, right? That's not going to happen, especially behind a $25 bottle of whiskey. But, and this isn't Stag Jr. by any means. Trust me, go out, try Stag Jr., then try this, and don't even tell me that they compare. But I will say, for a $25 bottle of whiskey, for 125 proof, is there a lot of other stuff out there that does the same thing that this does flavor-wise? Probably not. And if this remains this price or even creeps up just a little bit with the way that the market's going, I don't think anything will be able to touch this. So I will say, and we're going to take one more sip to find out, this is definitely number one or number two as of right now, but we got to figure out where we're going to put it. And of course, I'm going to sip these one more time just to make sure all my rankings are right. Listen, you get the vanilla that you get off the top floor here. You get a little bit of that spiciness that you get off the small batch and the bonded, but yet you still get a little bit of cherry on this, a little bit of an oak that I wasn't expecting. Maybe this is older than I think. Maybe this is older than that three year mark. Maybe it's closer to that four to five year mark like the bonded here. But at the end of the day, this is really pretty good and I can't really knock anything about it for a $25 bottle of whiskey. Let me make sure I put that in there. So for right now, and right now only, I have to put this number one. There's no way that it's not number one. For $25 compared to small batch, which is also $25, $16 to $20 when it comes to these two bottles, the proof, definitely there. The heat, also there when it comes to this bottle, but the flavor profile that comes along with that is absolutely so much better than what I've had so far. I've got to put this number one for right now, but we have one more bottle to go, then we're going to make sure we have these in the right order. And as you know, last but not least, that's going to get us into the single barrel. This will be featured in our March Madness Bourbon Bracket Single Barrel Edition coming this March. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you click that like. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you've been here for this long. But let's try this one out. This is our last one. Who knows? Maybe it's the best single barrel we've ever had. Cheers, y'all. Okay, is it? So this single barrel comes in at 95 proof. So we've had everything from 86 proof all the way up to 125 proof. So there's definitely something for everybody when it comes to these whiskeys. I will say this though, if it's just proof you're looking for, then definitely pick out your favorite proof. But if you're looking for a flavor profile specifically to what you like, you're definitely going to get something different across the board. I think this particular glass at $25, by the way, for this bottle, which matches our small batch as well as our full proof, falls somewhere in between maybe a little better than bonded, but definitely not lower than top floor. It might be right in the middle. I'm excited to try these all side by side by side just to see that flavor profile accentuate itself through the lineup. But let's try this one more time and place it before we do that. So here's what I'm thinking and let me know if this is a cop out, right? The top floor was delicious, but it was one dimensional. It wasn't very complex. The bonded over here, super easy to drink, but at the end of the day, so much better when it came to the flavor profile on the top floor. This one is almost tied with the bonded, if you ask me. The flavor profile is right there, but at 95 proof, I think it sips a little bit hot. Right now, I'm going to put it as a tie, but I promise you by the end of the video, I'll pick a winner. So as of right now, this is my order. I'm going to go with the foolproof as my number one. I'm going to say these two are tied as of right now. The top floor, I think, is a hidden gem at the end of the day. If you like something that's 86 proof, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't like the flavor profile compared to everything else. And then the small batch somehow is the clear loser here, especially at $25. That being said, let's take these two out of the equation and focus on these three right here. Cheers. Honestly, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to waste your time on this. The foolproof, I think, is the clear winner here. These two, though, for second place is going to be a toss-up, so let's try these out and let's pick a second place. I hate those videos that are like, wait till the very end to see. Listen, foolproof's the winner here. It's not even close. Let's try these out one more time.
So this is what I'll say. I've been back and forth on these bottles a couple of times now, and I've got to give it to the Bondit strictly off of price point, right? We're talking $16 versus $25, and they're not that different at the end of the day. We're talking a five proof difference. Maybe this isn't as old, right? This is definitely four years old. Maybe this is only three. We don't really know. But at the end of the day, they're not different enough to warrant a $9 difference. I've got to give it to the Bondit in my particular flavor profile. Which means this is how we're going to end it from small batch all the way up to foolproof. Let me know in the comment section below what order you would put these in if you've tried all five. But in the meantime, make sure you check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. Go click that follow button over there. Check out our Patreon and our Discord. Those links in the description below. Please click that like and that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Please don't drink and drive. Always drink responsibly and stay healthy, stay happy, stay drinking. Cheers, y'all. That was a lot of foolproof.